in to M&K Beauty. It's Katie, and I'm going to be telling you about my Invisalign experience. So, basically the first step is you want to go see a dentist and see if you're an Invisalign candidate. Not everyone's teeth are meant for Invisalign. Some people have to go with regular braces. Uh, I had regular bra braces when I was younger. I didn't wear the retainer. My teeth moved, and I've been really unhappy with my bottom teeth. Not so much my top teeth, they're not so bad, but my bottom ones really bothered me. So I found out how much it was going to be and how long it would take, and basically it was really expensive, so I decided to wait. And then this past year, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do it. I've wanted it for so long, you know, it's never going to be the right time. So I went and I got uh, my impressions done, and they took pictures, and... Basically, six weeks later, my Invisalign came into my dentist, and then I went in, and they put little uh, prongs type things on my teeth so that the Invisalign could hold on to them. Like, that's how they snap into place and hold on to your teeth. And then, after that, the dentist tries on your first set, and he basically writes dates on your next Invisalign packet, mine are on the back in a sharpie so you know when to change it and you change your Invisalign every two weeks and then you go and see your dentist once a month. So it's really a very simple process. The only time you're supposed to take your Invisalign out is when you're going to be eating. That's the only time to take it out otherwise you sleep everything with it in. The only thing you can drink with your Invisalign in is water which for me is not a problem because I'm not really a coffee drinker or anything like that, but I'm sure for coffee drinkers or soda drinkers, it's, it's really hard because you'd have to take your Invisalign out and brush your teeth then because you have to brush your teeth before you put them back in. So I'm sure that's a lot harder for those people. And when you get your Invisalign, you basically get these two different boxes. This one is for your current Invisalign, and then this one is for your last Invisalign. See, mine has my last Invisalign in it. And I'm going to come closer so you can see them, and I'm going to come closer so you can check out my teeth. Hi! Okay, so I'm going to show you my Invisalign and my teeth and basically why I got them. So, here's my teeth, and you can kind of see there's something there. and. My bottom ones were really the problem. So when you snap your Invisalign out, it looks like this. It's really not hard. It's kind of foamy right now. It's kind of gross. Um, but that's what it looks like. Just a little tray. And then you can't really see the prongs on my teeth, but they're on there. And then when you want to put it back in, it just snaps into place. And they really don't hurt. So honestly, the only cons to Invisalign is I noticed my mouth is very dry, but I drink tons of water anyway. And since the beginning, it's gone down a lot. I haven't noticed the dryness really at all. And then the other thing is, which you might hear sometimes when I'm talking, when I first got them, it was so bad. You have a lisp. Your lisp, when you first get your Invisalign, at least for me, was terrible. I was embarrassed to speak to people because of the way my voice sounded. And I'm at a wedding and an event planner, and so I had a wedding, I guess, a few days after I got them in, and I was trying to talk to everyone, and it was really embarrassing. The whole time, I kind of wanted to cover my mouth because I wasn't used to having something in it, and I felt like everyone could see it. So it took me a minute to get used to, and then... Basically, after that, it's fine. It, it, my voice is basically evened out, but every once in a while, if I say anything with an S, it sounds a little bit funny. So, that's basically it. Oh, also, I wanted to let you know, cheaper ways of getting Invisalign. You can go, you might check one dentist, but I know that there's an off-brand. I got Invisalign, but there's an off-brand called Clear or something. I'm not 100% what it's called, but... That's cheaper, I know that, and it's basically the same thing. And also, if you go to a dental school, any dental school, community colleges have dental schools, and go there, they do Invisalign as well, and it's basically a new dentist practicing on you, but you're getting the same experience, it's the exact same thing, and it's like half the price. So definitely, if you're interested in Invisalign, check those options out as well. Basically, that's 
it for my video. I hope you enjoyed this and it was informative. And if you're thinking about Invisalign and you have any other questions, feel free to comment or message me. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And that's basically it. Have a great night, have a great day, and see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.